So now we've got our file set up, it's time to start gathering the things we need to create the ad. Now sometimes you have clients who are on top of it and they'll provide absolutely everything you need like their logo and photos and text, etc. And sometimes you have clients where they need a little more hand holding and they need you to create the graphics for them. Since you're the graphic designer that would make sense. So what do you do when you have a mixture of both and you need to get some of those assets? Well, let's see what assets we do have. I'll start here. I do have this text that we created. So we've got the title and we've got some details, uh, uh, bullet list, and then information about where to find them online, things like that. That's great, but I have no images to work with. Well, luckily they do have a website, so I can jump to their website and see what images I can work from, or at least if I'm gonna buy stock photo uh, photography, what kind of images I need to try and find. So one thing to be careful of, if you're making a print ad, just about any photo you find online probably won't work because when you go to print it, it won't look good because it's too low quality. We call it low res. It, it's not going to be a big enough file to print. So, but let's just see. Let's just poke around and see what we've got going on. I know I don't have this logo, so I'm going to go ahead and just drag this over to my assets folder here. So let's just click once and drag over to Finder. I'll hold there for a second and I'll jump over here. And I'll just stash this into my photos folder for now. So that brought in their logo. Now again, see this is 32 kilobytes. It's tiny. It probably won't even work at all, but for the sake of the ad, we'll pretend like they give us a high res version to work with. So we'll drop that in there. Uh, and then looking at what this area is, if we jump over to media, you're welcome to watch the video. They do have a video on it, but you can get a really good idea and understanding that it's only it, it's downhill the entire way. It's only about a 2% or less grade. So when it comes time to find images, if we can't find media that we can work with out of their photo gallery, which we'll come back here and pull some, but as we're looking for stock photos, what that tells me is images like this where we have a serious mountain biker either doing tricks or going uphill really doesn't make sense. It's not that kind of a trail. This one might be okay, but it's not that flattering. We don't want to look at the back end of people. We want to look at probably the faces of people having fun. And again, this landscape doesn't match. It's a cool photo, but it's not the right setting. So as we start to look through and pick stock photos, if we need to rely on a stock photo, we have to be careful that it matches with the setting and the scenery and what we're trying to convey as far as the message. So that being said, I've actually found a couple that might make, might make sense. So what I'm going to do here is just grab a couple of them. You know, this one might not be the best photo for a couple reasons. One, I don't have a lot of space around the photo to work with. And uh, it's a little cheesy. It does definitely feel like a canned, you know, stock photo. But what we'll do is we're going to save a preview. So I'm going to click on this twirl down arrow. And I'm going to create a new library here. And we'll call it... Uh, the Hiawatha and I'll just call it that so that way I know what it is I'll save or I'll add that rather and now it's saving that comp one thing I forgot to mention is I just dove in here I just went to stock dot adobe dot com to open up that page and started searching for images so you can search that way or you can search for images right within Photoshop so now when I come back to my libraries here I can automatically see that that new folder I, or that new library I created is right in here under my libraries window and I can search Adobe stock right from in here so I can search for mountain bike and it's going to give me results right within the Adobe uh, Photoshop libraries window so let's say just again for the sake of the exercise here maybe we wanted to add one of these let me see if I can find one real quick that might make sense here without taking too much time uh, maybe this one and what I'll do is I have the save preview or I have the license option well we don't want to buy it yet so we're just gonna hit this little cloud icon to save a preview and now I've got two stock photos to work with alright now let's keep going let's go grab some more photos I'll jump back over to their website and I can see that they do have a gallery so let's just see if any of these make sense I'm just gonna click on a couple of them here and I'll right click and if I can I'll hit save image as some websites you can do that others you can't see it I will save it to my let's see let's create a new folder on my desktop and we'll just call it photos for now as I just start scraping some stuff and dropping it in there I hit save and maybe this nice mountain photo. Now this doesn't advertise as well for us because there's no bikers on it. So at a glance, it doesn't really convey the message or the story we're looking for, but we'll throw it in there. 
And maybe one more. I know they talk a lot about the tunnels and stuff, so let's just see if this one. So we've got happy bike riders. We've got a, a bike trailer for a kid, so that tells us it's a kid-friendly, family-friendly ride. So that might be a good image as well. So we'll save this image. All right, so let's say that was a strikeout. Let's say we didn't get the photos we want. Well, luckily they do have Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. So I opened up their Instagram and found a couple more photos that might work. On Instagram, we can't right click and save as. It gives us just the HTML file. It kind of protects it from scraping content, but we can take a screenshot. So Command Shift and the number four to click and drag and make a screenshot there. That'll just throw the screenshot right on my desktop. So if I go to my desktop right here we can see that new screenshot that I just took I'll drag that into my photos folder and then on Facebook we can you know kinda of quickly scroll through and see if there's any good images that we want to pull from here's kind of an interesting one looking down off of one of those bridges I'll right click save image as and I'll throw that in that photos folder as well all right, so now we've kind of gathered our photos to work with. Next, what I want to do is look at some of the overall branding. So there's a cool app I like to use. I don't know if you call it an app. I guess it's an extension for your browser, and they have it for Safari and Chrome that I know of for sure. I haven't tried it in the other browsers, but to know what fonts they're using for their website and their branding. So I have this little extension called What Font. I can click on that, and now I can start typing or clicking anywhere on their website to see what fonts they're using. So it looks like they're using Oswald, and that's the color. They're also using uh, this one. I've never seen that one before, but Yanon. Anyway, so we can do some research and try and find these fonts. In this case, I'll probably just stick with Oswald because I know we have access to that with the uh, Google Fonts library. And if you want to get that extension, go ahead and search for what font extension and you can see it here just add it to Chrome and then you'll have this little icon and you can jump on any website and see what font they're using for different things so I'll click on that what font and you can see Instagram uses Proxima Nova so that's a great little extension I use it all the time and when you're done you can just hit exit up here or just hit the escape key all right, so we've gathered our assets, we've got our text, we've got our logo, and we have some photo ideas. So in the next lesson, we're going to go ahead and start pushing some pixels around.